Bobolus is dying. No, none of the horned animals lose them unless they break off. Uh, horns and antlers are very different in that regard. I don't really understand how antlers work, but uh, horns are a slow progression in the life of an animal, and basically they go from a youngster to an adult fully mature, and any deformities, those horns break, any deformities inhibit that animal to compete, and hence mate. Oh, look at that. Here we go. There's a gift for you. What? Where did you get that from? Now, what we're looking at here probably is an adult on the right with a chick that is now out of the nest. You can see by the size, the size is there. The adult is walking around going, okay, so you know I brought you those things in the nest that you ate? Well, this is where we find them. <laughs> and you saw the chick a moment ago there, picked something up and drops it again. Because it's like, what is that? No, that doesn't smell very good. Give me some food. It's not running along. Oh, look what I've got. Oopsie, it's a leaf. No, nope, can't eat that. <laughs> it's like a new world. It's been cooped up inside of a hole. There, the adults. There we go. That's what you can eat. How fantastic is this? You can see the slight size difference, can't you? Obviously, the youngsters grow quite quickly, but they don't mature to a full size initially. Hey, he's still got a few years. There we go. He's learning. I don't know what it is. A pluck there. This is how you survive out in the African wilderness, bird. Dancing trout. This is very nice to see. Look. Here we go. No, I don't want what you've got. I've got my own. <laughs> In it goes. Oh, I'll have some more. Whoops. Fantastic. Higgy, <laughs> they do have fantastic little hops. When they, they run as well, you see them with their feet, they actually take these beautiful steps. Uh, but when they, there we go, there's another one. When they, they hop, it is quite funny. And I love seeing the tracks of a hornbill that comes into land, because you can see where the, the feet have hit the floor and they've bounced. And you can also see where the tail has scraped in the sand. So you get this like double three or four bounces and then a tail drag. And then it starts to either hop or to walk with individual feet. They don't land on one foot. They land on two. And then they start hopping or then start walking. And that tail that comes down to stabilize them leaves a nice little indentation.